Hi everyone, this is Samip from SL7 Tech and today in this video I'm going to uh, walk you through how you can set up an Azure OpenAI service and uh, use any of the models uh, in your Python code. So I've seen many people uh, find it difficult to set up the uh, deployment and use it in their code as it is a bit different from the regular OpenAI API. So if you're having the same problem then this video is for you. So let's get started. Uh, as you can see, I'm in my Azure portal and if you can see Azure OpenAI in your home screen, then you can click on that or uh, you can go to the create resource and then go to the AI category and you can click create on Azure OpenAI. This might take a few seconds. And yeah, so now select your subscription and your resource group so uh, i'm just going to create a new one for now sl7 tech and uh, so you need to select the region so uh, the availability of different models will depend upon your region for example all the uh, models might not be available uh, suppose in south india or southeast asia and some of them might be available in East US or some other reason. And also the other thing is that uh, the speed also can differ from uh, different reasons. So you can select accordingly. For now, I'm just going to choose East US. Mm, give your instance a name. And the pricing tier is, I think it's uh, identical to the regular OpenAI API pricing. So it's going to be based on how many tokens uh, you pass and generate from the model. Uh, you can go to this uh, link to view all the pricing options. So yeah, this might differ from regions. So I'm currently in East US, uh, so it's going to show for that specific reason. So this is for GPT-4 or as you can see $5 per million tokens. Uh, so I think we're going to be using chat completions API. And these are the audio models and yeah, for GPT-4 or chat completion, oh yeah, GPT-4 or mini, we have $0.15 uh, dollar per 1 million in input tokens. And similarly for output, you have $0.6. So uh, it's going to be you're going to be you're going to get built uh, based on how many requests you send. So let's proceed with the tutorial. So now you can click on next. Uh, leave it as it is. So yeah, now let's click on create. And it's going to deploy our service. Deployment in progress. Now oh, this might take a minute or two. So yeah, uh, now the deployment is successful and we need to go to the resource. So click on go to resource and click on the service you just created so from here you need to go to the AI foundry portal so basically uh, Azure AI foundry uh, is a portal where you can um, experiment with different uh, open AI models and uh, so you need to also deploy the models from here. So uh, in the regular OpenAI API, basically you use a single endpoint, a single key, and uh, you define the model in the code. But uh, while working with Azure, you need to create a separate deployment for each model. For example, for GPT-4 or you need to create one endpoint. For GPT-4 or Mini, you need to create another endpoint. So uh, that is how it differs from the regular API. Um, so I'm now going to create a new deployment So you can uh, deploy a fine-tuned model 
uh, for now we are going to proceed with the base model so now it displays all the models again based on your uh, region so these are for east us and also it also depends on a subscription we're going to proceed with gpt4 or mini so now you're going to see the uh, model version uh, the capacity and the content safety so uh, the capacity it depends on the subscription and the model so for my it is 8000 tokens per minute and also remember the deployment name and click on deploy so yeah now we have the deployment uh, now we can experiment here uh, by talking to the model i can type in hello and yeah so the model is now deployed uh, now the main thing is to implement this in our code so uh, for that we need the endpoint and the api key to get that uh, we need to go to the deployment section and then select the model and yeah here in the endpoint section you'll get one url which is your endpoint and the api key so these are the two things we will need to call it in our code so yeah now copy this to uh, items and let's proceed towards vs code so i have a new folder here and i'm going to create a dot py file and uh, let's create a virtual environment for this project Um, so now it's created so I'm going to activate this environment so now since my environment has been activated uh, we need to install the packages so first we need the .env package for environment variables uh, then uh, we're going to have to install langchain um, you can do this without langchain uh, but you know langchain makes everything a lot more easier and you can do a lot of stuff so i'm going to uh do it with langchain in this tutorial and yeah you also need to install the langchain openai package so uh, let's install that as well Um, now since everything has been installed let's write some code um, so i'm going to uh, check the langchain azure openai documentation i'll include the link in the description um, so uh, this is the code we will need to initialize the uh, large language model so i'm just going to copy this and paste it in my file so there are a bunch of options here uh, regarding maximum number of tokens to display the temperature uh, which controls the randomness of the model and then the timeout uh, for now i'm just going to remove all this and keep it as minimal as possible um so now we need to modify these parameters as well um so let's check our deployment name um so in the deployment info uh, you can see that our name is gpt4 or mini so i'm going to copy and uh, replace it in my code And now let's uh, set up the environment variables so for that i'll create a env file now you can also do this by directly uh, putting the environment variable in your system settings but now i'm going to do it from a env file so you need to have two uh, values one is azure openai api key and the another one is azure openai endpoint so uh, make sure that they have the exact same names as I am writing here otherwise it won't work so we can get this from the portal so copy the API key and paste it the first one and similarly copy the endpoint so it is given as target URI 
and yeah remember to keep it inside a single quote and another thing is from this endpoint you will also find the api version so copy that uh, text after the api version and we're going to replace it in our code Okay, so now after doing these things, um, it will be able to communicate with our API and the model is now initialized. So uh, yeah, we need to load the environment variables from the .env file. So I can simply write load.env. So let's try to test it. Um, so I'm going to take user input from the terminal um, and let's create a prompt template uh, using Langchain so I'm going to uh, import the chat prompt template I'm going to create a very simple example just to demonstrate that this works. Mm, so, you know, let's uh, define the prompt for the system and uh, the human. Now you can customize this as per your application. Um, for now, it's just a simple input output application. So I'm not going to write much. Yeah, let's define for the user. And I'm going to um, invoke the model. So it's you have to call the invoke method and pass the prompt. So since there is the user input parameter, I have, I have to replace it. So now this should be working. Uh, let's check it out. So I'm going to run this. Let's just say I for now. So yeah, it is working, but you know, it's uh, giving out the old object. So uh, you can see that it's the content and the metadata, total tokens, and you have the uh, hit filters and all that. So uh, this is another difference by dealing with Azure OpenAI. So I just want to print the content so I can uh, print response to the content. So let me run it again. So, you know, let's ask about um, Python maybe. So yeah, it's perfectly working as you can see. So, you know, this is a very simple implementation uh, you can add a while loop and integrate the chat history or you can implement your reg architecture and all that uh, you can simply go to the documentation and remember that this keeps changing time to time so um, you might not get the best uh, result while asking you know uh, copilot or chat gpt itself so uh, do check the documentation while implementing it and you can go to the api reference for more details on how you can use the uh, tools and all that um, uh, as you can see the output format is also provided here 
and a bunch of other stuffs uh, like yeah defining your own tools and how to call tools so yeah everything uh, you'll need is mentioned in this documentation you can go through this one i left the links in the description and yeah that's it for the video so if this worked for you uh, please like this video and subscribe to my channel and if you have any issues you can leave it in the comment section below and i'll try to help thanks for watching